Hi everyone, this is the Legendary Hour back again with more. This time I'm going to be doing another Bailey Burst unboxing. This is going to be for Bailey Burst Sparking King Helios. This Bailey is King Helios Zone 1B or 1 Balance. The owner is Hikaru and it's from Bailey Burst Sparking. Or Super King, whichever one you want to call it. Then it has two modes. Well, on the other side, just tells you that it is a balance type, part of the burst system, a less spin, part of the sparking layer system. And on the back, it shows you. It basically shows you the parts, tells you a little bit about each one, and then it is less spin, and so I play up against some. Um, Erase Devil, well, Erase Diabolos, and then it bursts it, of course. And now, don't worry, I'll go into, I'll go into all of it in more detail. But for now, let's get into the unboxing. So I am back. And now let's get on to the stickers. So I wanna I wanna apply the stickers yet, but I'll basically kind of show off the stickers and kind of show how many there are for the people that are wondering. Now let's get on to the parts. So in my super high period video I actually dig over the sparking layer system a bit. So I'm gonna kinda of skip the whole tutorial. And this time, we're going to just go straight into it. So, for the chip. Okay, so this is reverse. So for the chip, it's called Helios. It is basically silver and red. The green eye. And in the middle, it has silver and red for the chip core. I won't take out the chip core because that's kind of a pain. But, yeah, that's basically it for the chip core. You can also see the slopes, or the, the partial slopes, if you, if that matters. Apparently it does a little bit, but not much. Then here is the ring. It's called King. It actually reminds me of Erase. And I'll probably compare it to Erase because I have um, Erase Devilos from Hasbro. But I'll do that in the Hasbro unboxing. Anyway, it, it seems to be based on upper attacks too. So it's kind of like both Beelers are kind of meant to do upper attack for the most part. And now let's put it together. And there you go. It is King Helios. I actually like the, actually like the design of it. it. Is blue, like the background that I chose. But it seems pretty nice. Seems like a pretty nice um, looking Beyblade so far. Then here's the chassis. The chassis is called 1B. Some people think it's called. Some people think 1B means one balance, which I I can't disagree with that. It does seem like it means one balance, so I'll go with that. And this is the first LR. And this is the first LR Beyblade Burst chassis. So if you have Super Hyperion, you can basically take off the chassis and then put on, not just put on this one, you can also put it together and then it'll work perfectly. But if you try to, but if you try to put on this one, it shouldn't work. For some reason it shouldn't work. Oh, wait. Okay, so it doesn't work. I can't even push it in. So, yeah, these are basically spin locked. These are spin locked and you can't actually push it down. You can't force it in either. And that's mostly because these tabs actually tell... Actually tells this. 
what sprint direction should be. And after blocking it off, then it won't really work. 1B is basically, it's not just a balanced disc. It's actually really heavy. So, it has plastic on it, and it has metal on it. It has a pretty heavy center of gravity. And I feel like it's going to be pretty heavy and good for attacks. Apparently this is not the heaviest disc in the game currently though, which is kind of surprising. And here it is, the driver, which is called Zone. So Zone kind of reminds me of Hasbro's name for Zwan Longinus, which is Zone Luanor. But besides that, this driver is basically the opposite of the one that Super Hyperion has. Super Hyperion is rubber with free spin and plastic. Helios's is basically plastic with a sharp plastic tip. So it's the opposite because this is stamina, stamina slash defense base, this one's attack base. Now let's put this bayboard together. Okay, so I, I actually put it in this 10 blade mode by mistake, but the way for you to actually change the modes is to is to, to take off the chassis and then turn it 180 degrees and then you will have the other modes. So this time, you kind of see how it has those blades popping out a little bit. That just shows that it is in 10 blade mode, which means it has more balance and has more stamina. But if it's in 5 blade mode, then it'll be more for attack as this balance type can get. King Helios, 3, 2, 1, go, shoot! Okay, so King Helios is in the center. It looks really good though. And it seems pretty defensive for a balance type, which is pretty good. It's not really... doesn't seem like one of those Beyblades that would um, be too bad, but some people have been saying that it's bad in the beginning. And also I did hear that the free span tip was still spinning, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign too. Now we're going to be doing the Battle of Brothers, which is Super Hyperion and King Helios. Three, two, one, go, shoot. Okay. Whoa. So, Super Hyperion actually takes round one with a over finish. Round two, three, two, one, go, shoot. Okay. Whoa. Super Hyperion is actually starting to attack a little bit more. King Helios, King Helios isn't looking too good. Who will win? And Super Hyperion takes that one with another. With a spin finish. Let's see who will win the final round. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, it's a little bit of a closer match this time. Let's see who will win. And it seems like a draw. I want to say that Super Hyperion kind of won a little bit by a little bit, but overall it kind of seemed like a draw. Let's do one more round and then I'll end the video. Now it's in its 5 blade mode. 3, 2, 1, go. That was crazy! I know you couldn't see it, but it literally knocked out of the arena and then came right back in. It got knocked out and then came right back in. Okay, Super Hyperion won that one, but that was insane. So... I don't know how I feel about King Helios. I feel, I feel like King Helios has a lot of potential. 
but just isn't really, um, I don't think it has the support that it needs to be a pretty good Beyblade just yet, especially since Super Hyperion is so overpowered with its heavy attacks. Anyway, that concludes my unboxing slash review of King Helios. King Helios Zone 1B. So, like if you want, share if you want, and subscribe to become a legend in the making. See you next time, bye, and we are proven to be legendary, not a legendary.